Busy insects. A large group of ants, called a colony, lives in an underground nest. Each leafcutter ant has a job to do, and each ant is the right size for its job. An ant colony has a queen. She is the only ant that lays eggs. A colony also has a few males or boys. They are a little smaller than the queen. The adult queen and the males are the only ants in the colony that grow wings. There are about 20,000 species of ants. Most of the rest of the colony's ants are workers. There are females or girls. Workers are smaller than the soldier ants that guard the colony. Media and maxima workers have strong jaws. They cut pieces of leaves from plants and carry them back into the nest. The tiniest workers are called minima workers. They take care of the garden where the ants grow their food called fungus. Fungus grows on the pieces of leaves that the medias and maximas bring into the nest. Army ants. Huge groups of these ants march together through the rainforest. As big groups of army ants move through the rainforest, they collect insects and other small creatures to eat. The ants march for 15 days at a time. Then they make a nest made entirely of ants, themselves. Sometimes the army ants cannot get across a space without a bridge. Some of the ants make a living bridge. These ants hang on to each other while other ants crawl over them. One colony may have two million ants. So many army ants move through the rainforest at once that you can hear them marching. Ants live in many places on Earth. Most ants are black or red. Here are just a few of the more than 20,000 species of ants. The jumping ant, which lives in India, could jump across a book in just five leaps. Little black ants are common in the United States. They make nests in dirt outside, but they may come into people's houses looking for food. Bulldog ants are big, have large jaws, and live in Australia. Weaver ants live in leafy nests they make in trees. They live in Australia and Asia. Honey bees. These insects make yummy sweet honey. Honey comes from honeybees. The bees make honey from nectar, a sweet liquid that they find inside flowers. A worker bee sips nectar from flowers. She carries nectar back to her hive. The honey bee spits out the nectar to fill honeycomb cells. By now, the nectar has started to change to honey. The bees store the honey to eat and to feed their larvae. People use honey collected from beehives to sweeten food. As a honeybee collects nectar, she flies from flower to flower. Bits of pollen, a powder in flowers that helps make seeds stick to her body. The honeybee pushes some of the pollen into special bags on her legs called pollen baskets. It is food for hungry larvae back in the hive. The honeybee visits other flowers, where some pollen falls off her body. This is how bees help plants make fruit and seeds so that new plants grow. Bees are important pollinators, animals that carry pollen from plant to plant. Honeybees help many plants grow. Watermelons, cucumbers, and strawberries all need honeybee pollinators. There are three kinds of bees in each beehive. The queen, which lays the eggs, the drones, which are the males, and the workers, which are the females that do the work. Hives are made of wax that comes from the honeybees' bodies. The queen lays her eggs in an empty cell. Each cell either holds an egg or is a storage place for honey. Larvae hatch from the egg and live in the cell. Workers feed the larvae royal jelly, a mixture of pollen, nectar, and honey. The honeybee is one of 20,000 different species of bees. Here are just a few other kinds of bees. The fuzzy buff-tailed bumblebee has long soft hair. The neon cuckoo bee sneaks into another kind of bee's nest to lay its eggs there. 
The eastern carpenter bee is a large bee. It makes its nest in wood. Sweat bees can be annoying to humans and other animals because they like to drink sweat. The orchid bee is shiny green. The sugar bag bee from Australia doesn't sting. The golden paper wasp makes its own kind of paper to build its nests. A queen wasp starts building a new nest. She hunts for little pieces of wood from logs or fences. She chews and chews, mixing the wood with her saliva that turns it into a paste that she spits out onto a surface. When it dries, it is paper-like and strong. The queen makes small, six-sided cells attached to one another. She lays eggs in the cells. Later, her daughters help make the nest bigger and bigger. The growing colony of paper wasps has a nice big home. There are about 30,000 different kinds of wasps. Some live in groups and some live alone. The potter wasp hunts for caterpillars to feed its young. Eastern yellow jackets like to eat sweets such as nectar, but they feed meat to their larvae. Some insects live alone, others live together and are called social insects.